Welcome to the game of Risk, everyone. I'm your host, Olive XC, a top player at this game. Back at you with another game of some classic fixed. Lizards on, portal stable, bots neutral, with the players as shown here. And I have been gifted Australia. There is literally no way that I cannot get Australia here, you guys. If I do, this somehow does not work out for me, uh, then uh, it, it would be crazy. But literally, the only thing the only thing next to me are ones. No one is by me right now. The only thing that could potentially happen would be if the green player decided to go like go crazy on me, moving their stack to China to ram into me the next turn, which will be dumb. Uh, the other players don't really have very easy continents that they can be going for. Yellow has a potential options for themselves in Brazil, like potentially, but like again, green is very strong there. P I think maybe pink could be going for Africa, but wow, like uh, my opponents do not have easy options for themselves right now. Except me, baby. I'll s no Australia, no win. <laughs> but there is literally. <laughs> uh, and purple is just like good game because no Australia, no win. But in this case, it, it actually was the correct move for me to be going for the Australia. It was just attacking a one and then fortifying my troops. I'm defending it with a seven. Purple wants to be my friend though, so I can definitely work with them if I uh, have a chance. And as I am the strongest player right now, what I'm going to prioritize doing is eventually getting into the China area, as that's going to give me a one point hold, and I'll be able to attack around a large number of territories for myself. The only thing I need to be careful about is the green players. They have a lot of troops around me, but I think as long as I take my time right here, I think I'm gonna be okay. Yeah, so Orange has just made a quick attack not doing anything too crazy. But now I just see how are people gonna start getting their continents? Green, I think will probably be attacking Mongolia and going to the Middle East. So then they can move down into Africa, which I think would be a uh, strong move. The only thing I had to think about is how can I save my six troops right here? But I don't think anyone's gonna be taking them out for a while. I can keep waiting on them. Uh, in terms of like my other troops on the board, like I think this three is going to be lost in East Africa and the Ural territory will also probably eventually be lost. So while I am in a good spot right now, I have to make sure I don't throw my troops and my advantage away. I just have to take this uh, relatively slowly. <laughs> what? Okay, uh, purple just did a 10v1 and lost two troops. This is why I use the slider trick, kids. I have a tutorial video of this and you can check out right here. Heck yeah. So I'm just going to focus on trying to get some value out of this three right here. And I do get some additional troops for myself. So I am in a fine position right now. I have a 14 guarding Australia. I'm not making enemies with anyone. So I can just keep on taking my time with this. Green takes them out, but hey, I got the, probably the most value I could out of that spot. And I still am tied for like the most troops on the board right here. Now I do wonder what orange uh, will be doing. Are they, they could potentially hit my three to go into their portal. I didn't see that, but I was gonna lose, be losing a three anyway. But orange does not take it yet. Okay, looks like they're going around. They're just making a lot of... What are they... <laughs> what? Are they attacking a bunch of ones to go into this portal? Dude, just hit my three. <laughs> That's so bad. I have no idea what orange is doing. That number of attacks was completely unnecessary. Completely. So now you have like four players right here, all trapped up in North America. Honestly, besides the green player, I have no idea what the rest of my opponents are doing right now. But hey, I got Australia. So as long as I have Australia, I think I'm going to be staying off in a pretty nice spot for myself right now. 
Yeah, Pink is going into a portal. Again, just grouping everything together, but eventually someone's gonna hit someone else over here. And Yellow's grouping everything into South America, but also in Europe. So maybe they'll eventually attack Green's 8. That would be a really welcome development if they're able to do that. But in any case, all we're going to do right now is we're just going to be making one attack per turn. We'll allow Green to get out if they want. Again, I don't want feeling threatened where they have to hit my six in order to get out. And now at this point with how many troops we have on Australia, we're at a stage now where no one is going to be able like, like to take this from us. It would just be a suicide play. Oh man, I just love holding Australia on the first turn. Just like, it's like, like what can go wrong in this world? Nothing can go wrong. <laughs> but if I don't convert, convert this for a win, it means that I am doing something very, very wrong in this game. Because the orange player should be taking over the rest of Europe right here. I'm also going to be thinking that the... I have no idea what pink is doing. Pink and purple are both in horrible spots and are probably trying to be eliminated. Green is probably going to smack pink, and, and yellow, ooh, are they going to smack green? That would be interesting if they chose to do that. They smack orange! What? Oh no, 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 that's a bad play. Oh my gosh, why, why did they do that? Now the orange player is down to only seven cards. And purple gets a set. Oh man, now they'll be able to eliminate the purple, the orange player and get their cards. Oh wells. Otherwise I would have taken them out if they did not have that clutch set on three. And But since purple made the alliance and joke with me in the very beginning of the game, it's clear that they knew, knew what they were doing. So I'm not surprised uh, by, by their move and their skills. They're definitely the top player in this game. As this is, yeah, so they don't have a continent, but... They are very, very strong for themselves. So all we are going to do right now is just continue to be making small attacks and just keeping our, our troops here. Since the purple player clearly is really good right now, like um, whomever they are, General Alanka, they should recognize that turning in a 10 set and, and, and just smacking my 24 would be suicide for the both of us. So I really doubt that they would be hitting me, even if I'm on like five cards and they're on five cards. So if I just uh, focus on just taking one card per turn, even though I don't have a set on four, and just wait for the other players to keep hitting themselves a little bit, because again, this is, looks like a little bit of an aggressive game, uh, looks like some good opportunities like uh, should come up for me. Pink is, is weak on 25. But I think they're going to be able to trade in soon. If they don't trade in, could purple eliminate them? Well, purple could put... But yeah, Pink Chow does trade in. Things are still safe right now. But even with everybody trading in, because I've held Australia since turn one, and... Oh no, you guys. Uh, okay, yeah, Pink Green just got broken very aggressively. So could I eliminate green if I wanted to right now? I don't think so, because in order for me to get access to green, I would, I can't get this five one and one very easily because I don't have easy access to a portal. But purple is going back into North America and I think they're gonna be trying to take it over the next turn for themselves or maybe even right now. No, they're just waiting a little bit instead. Yeah. So no set for us right now, but we are still very, very fine. Uh, we are just going to be making simple attacks right here, continuing to get the value out of this six, and just waiting right now. We're getting our card. It's going to be a nice 10 set right here, and we have extra troops either on the Greenland or the Western Australia. And we're, we, we still have more troops than all the other players even before turning in our set. The green player is also pissed off at ping from a diplomacy standpoint. So even though we couldn't do like an early trade-in, we still got the advantage of the extra troops, which basically acted as a free extra set for us when nobody else was holding a continent. 
This isn't my style to just be sitting around doing nothing though. I am eventually going to want to do something in this game to take advantage of my um, initial high amounts of troops. I just have to wait for that right opportunity. But all the players are now getting their continents. Will yellow now be getting their continent? If yellow gets their continent, I think they'd probably be the prime target for me to eliminate. They would be on three cards. And I could just go upwards through Siam, attacking through Japan, and then taking them out like this. I think that's probably going to be my best move. Because if everyone else is getting these big continents right here, I'm going to be falling behind and just be in a very dangerous spot towards like uh, getting elim eliminated. But purple, sorry, yellow does not, ah, uh, they went inactive a little bit right here. This is so unfortunate because now in two cards, it's not worth it for me to be going for an attack. Well, we have to trade in right here. We'll trade in like this because we can always get hold at Western Australia. We may, may not be able to always hold Greenland. And I think we'll just attack upwards because I don't want the bot blocking and getting me in the way from attacking in the future right here. So I'll just make a one attack right here and pass again. It's not worth it for me to be eliminating anyone else at this time. If I don't do something soon, though, I'm going to lose my advantage. So I had to think, how do I want to play this? It looks like I think green wants to just take one card and pass per turn. Do they want an alliance? If I can work with the pink player, maybe they would attack green or, or someone, or maybe look to eliminate yellow. Yeah. Let's see what they decide to do. Are they gonna be just staying passive and doing like nothing, or do they wanna be more active? Well, so they can attack through a portal, they could be attacking green right here. It looks like they're just going to be attacking through a portal right now. So I could also try eliminating purple right here, who clearly is the best uh, the, be the best player on this board, like along with me. Because I think that they must be in the Discord or something, but I have no idea who they are. Or at least they're, they watch YouTube videos of Risk, because they understand the memes going on uh, in the community as it relates to Australia. Uh, but they do have a set, so now they're going to take North America. Which means they're going to quickly catch up in troops. Yeah. Yeah, they are pretty good. So do I want to let them hold this or not from a diplomacy standpoint? I mean, is there anyone that can really attack to advance the game? I want to see what pink does in terms of attacking. Because again, I still have the most troops right now. And I have a very strong guard over Australia with a, with a much wider array for attacking. The green player is also kind of stuck. They have no portals to be that they can use for attacking. A safer move is I can block the green player from getting cards and hope that, in, that they attack the yellow 10 or something. That I think is going to be the best move for me. And pink does decide to break purple. I think that was a good move because again, if purple got that strong, that would be very, very dangerous. So it looks like me deciding to be a little bit passive was the right move. <laughs> so weird, I just feel like the Australian turtle right now, which is hilarious. But in this case, the right decision is for me to be the Australian turtle, you guys. Other players are making moves around the board. In this case, with General Alanka, the purple player, clearly being very, very aggressive. It does mean... Yeah, that, that, that we can be advancing the game. So I will trade in here now. And... What we're going to focus on doing is we're going to make an attack right here. And we're just going to be leaving a nice little stack right here, blocking green from getting cards and hoping that they then attack yellow. Because they can't attack me. I have a 31 and a 35. I want them to hit the, the yellow 12 and lose something like 10 troops. I don't have an alliance with green either. They never offered it for me. Okay, so come on. Hit the yellow 12. And green chooses to be, to be card blocked instead. Well, heck, I don't mind that, you guys. <laughs> I'll take that any day. 
I'm actually using the neutral bot to my advantage. It's a nice way to kind of clog up the, uh, the territories to my advantage a little bit. But is pink going to be continuing this aggression? No, they're going to just be going back a little bit instead. So now, is purple going to aggressively break the pink player is the question now. So glad I broke that neutral bot from before. Yeah, now they're MIA, so they're not going to be getting any more troops. Wow, and purple just breaks pink completely. Wow. They're very good, but they're clearly acting very emotionally. Pink was very justified to break them. They, they just had to maybe do like a more heavier border on them instead. Or move towards another continent. Just going all in attacking like this is not the right move and just breaks the balance of the game in my favor. If, he, if purple blitzes a stack, I just win the game, I think, right here. Yeah, I think this is going a little bit in my favor here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to eliminate purple and, and pink right here, get two double trade-ins, and then hit green as hard as I can with my remaining stack. All right, let's do this, you guys. Let's just keep the slider on low here. And then we'll leave about seven right here to get the attack in. And that's the pink player gone. So now we get one trade in right here immediately of 10 troops. We put everything, let's see. We need, I think, a couple here just to make sure we finish taking out purple. Then we just focus now on eliminating purple from the game. And that's a purple player gone. And now we're at an end game with the green player. So now all we need to do is one more trade in right here of another 12 troops. And we need to hit the green player as hard as... Do we need to hit the green player actually as hard as possible? Actually... Oh, this could be a little cute. <laughs> one thing we could actually do right here is... We could kind of block them in two spots. That could actually be kind of funny. Yeah, let's do that. That's hilarious. <laughs> it's so common to just hit them. But I could just hold them like this and then break them the next turn and I think win from there. Oh, I love using the neutral bot like this. 23v23 is about 60%. Oh, they just go the other way and hit. Alright, but they lose that. Okay, so now I just go with my 23. And I have all these continents, and, I, and they open up my 7. That's going to be game. And green gives up. All right, you guys. So that was a fun little game uh, right there. If you guys are enjoying this content, please consider subscribing, because I love doing this for you. But with that, this is Olive XC signing off.